Hey people of the VC, it's Andy a Cloudy Wilder. Uh, this is going to be the um, possibly the first in a series of videos about um, new British heavy metal bands. So uh, these are the bands that are in the mould of the whole new wave of uh, British heavy metal revival that's been going on. <clears throat> I'm loath to call it the new wave of traditional heavy metal because that term was coined probably 10 years ago now, maybe longer, and um, you know, 10 years is longer than the actual original new wave of British heavy metal era uh, lasted. So um, I have recently specifically been looking for uh, British bands that are uh, carrying the, uh, the flag for traditional heavy metal um, that are around now. Um, a lot of these bands are brand new, uh, some of them still don't have deals. Uh, some of them have just released one, maybe two albums. Um, so for this video, I've uh, I've put together five bands which uh, <clears throat> I think are pretty good. I wanted you to wanted to introduce you to them um, if you're not familiar with them already. That is, um, <clears throat> you're not going to find anything with a whole traditional metal scene. You're not going to find anything mind-blowingly original or new. Um, otherwise it wouldn't be traditional heavy metal uh, for a starters. Um, you'll find that all these bands will have been influenced by the likes of Maiden and Priest and Saxon, Diamond Head and Angel Witch, um, but they all uh, interpret their influences in their own way to produce something new, uh, but obviously still within the, um, the confines of the traditional heavy metal um, genre if you want to call it that um, there's some of the bands in here maybe a little bit more power metal maybe a little bit more uh, speed metal but what they'll all be is British and what they'll all be is flying the flag for British metal in uh, in 2018 and beyond <coughs> so I picked out five bands for you um, let me just uh, let me just dive in and go for them so I'm gonna start off with probably my favorite band around at the moment and that's uh, uh, Seven Sisters. Uh, they were formed in uh, 2013 in London. Uh, they've got two albums to date. So the uh, self-titled album here from 2016 and the recent uh, release which is called The Cauldron and the Cross from uh, this year. Um, what I like about Seven Sisters is they, they are a little bit different from the other um, bands that are around at the moment. They've, they've really got their own style. Um, they certainly have a um, probably a Paul Diano era maiden uh, influence to the sound. Uh, in fact, they um, on their, their Facebook page, they describe themselves as Paul Diano era, Iron Maiden and Angel Witch. Um, but they've got absolutely great songwriting. And I think one of the issues that a lot of these traditional heavy metal bands that are brand new and out now and um, really reliving the glories of time before a lot of these guys were even born is there's not really much there's not really there's not really anywhere they can really go creatively because if they do then they move away from the traditional heavy metal sound which is what they, has influenced them and they no longer become traditional heavy metal um, but what Seven Sisters have done, and um, specifically with this, this album, <coughs> uh, the uh, the Cauldron and the Cross, um, at the moment, this is vying to be my release of the year. Yes, I have got <coughs> um, the uh, I have got the uh, Judas Priest Firepower album, which everyone is raving about, and yes, it is a superb album. But that is Judas Priest. They've been doing this for. <coughs> best part of, of 40 years these guys have been doing this for about five years and I think the hardest thing you can do as a band is to produce a really strong uh, second album this album is absolutely brilliant it was one of my favorite albums of 2016 and to follow it up with another album of such great uh, quality as well and great songwriting uh, I think is, is a real achievement. It doesn't sound like it is just an extension of the first album. It's, uh, it stands out in its own right. And I would thoroughly recommend uh, The uh, Cauldron and the Cross by uh, Seven uh, Sisters. 
Uh, next brand uh, I'm going to talk about is called uh, Toledo Steel. Uh, Toledo Steel have been around since 2011 and they were, um, they're from Southampton in England. Um, I have three of their uh, releases all on CD. Um, the first two were uh, self-released EPs. This is the self-titled EP from 2013. It's just a three track EP. Uh, the second was called uh, Zero Hour from 2015. And this was a six track EP and this this really this was my introduction to the band and it really got uh, me into them. Uh, Children of the Sun is an absolutely uh, killer uh, track and uh, they have their own self-titled song on here as well. And um, I don't even know if this is officially released. Well, it's obviously officially released because I'm, I'm holding it. But uh, I bought this off the band from their um, big cartel site, I think it is. Or maybe behind camera, I don't remember. Uh, it's called No Quarter. Uh, this is going to go on general release in the likes of Amazon in the next uh, couple of days or so. Um, and this is their full first length album signed to a major label. So this is on uh, CDs actually, just be listening to it. Now this is on uh, Dis Dissonance. I'm just going to get that name right. Uh... Yeah, Dissonance Productions. Dissonance Productions uh, is really uh, championing um, the uh, new wave of uh, new wave of British heavy metal uh, bands around at the moment. Um, the Seven Sisters album is also on the same label. Uh, Toledo Steel are more sort of um, Bruce Dickinson era uh, influenced Iron Maiden, but they also list Judas Priest, Saxon, Scorpions, and Deep Purple as their influences as well. Uh, another great band to check them out. Uh, the third band is one that uh, you will have seen me uh, shown uh, a couple of times before. Uh, that's a band called uh, Midnight Force. And uh, they are from uh, Glasgow in, uh, in Scotland, not too far from uh, where I live. They were formed in, in 2016 and they've got uh, two uh, self-released uh, CDs uh, on the market. The first was a, uh, an EP called uh, Restless Blade. Um, I saw Midnight Force, the first time I saw Midnight Force, uh, the first time I heard of Midnight Force is they were supporting um, High Spirits and also Toledo Steel who were on the, the bill as well up in Bannermans in Edinburgh and they were, just, they were really really good um, so I ended up picking up the, uh, the CD, the EP. <coughs> um, and again this year they have uh, released an album called uh, Dunsinane, not the easiest to pronounce. Now their influence is a sort of classic heavy metal except Judas Priest, uh, Riot, Warlock, uh, Angel Witch and this is these are the ones that they um, describe on their uh, Facebook page as well. Tank, Demon, Grim Reaper and many many more. Uh, <coughs> A lot of uh, the lyrics are kind of medieval uh, themed. Um, this is this is a little bit different from the others. It's not kind of straight up uh, influence of the likes of Maiden. It's uh, self released as well, so it's it's a little bit rawer. Um, the the singer has got quite a unique voice. I think uh, does a lot of the the high. Um, I don't want to call them screams. It's not really screams. Maybe it is, but um, it. Maybe an acquired taste, but it's it's a taste I acquired uh, quite early on, so I really like them as well. Uh, the the sound of the production is to me is is more akin to sort of early early new wave of British heavy, so sort of like late seventies, nineteen eighty sound to the music, <laughs> but um, definitely a band to watch out for. And in fact, in uh, end of June, uh, there's a show coming to Edinburgh with all three bands, so Midnight Force, Toledo Steel and Seven Sisters are all going to play um, at Edinburgh and uh, thoroughly looking forward to that as well. <coughs> Fourth band I have for you is uh, a band that was formed in 2009, uh, they're also from London, they have two albums as well. The first album was um, self-released, um, sorry the band is called uh, Neuron Spoiler. Uh, this is their second album. Their first album was uh, self-released in 2013 and by the time I'd heard of this band um, 
there were no CDs to be had. Uh, I would love to get hold of a copy of their first album on a CD. Um, <clears throat> this is their second album, as I say. It came out in, I think, last year, 2017. Also on Dissonance uh, Productions. <clears throat> Great artwork in here. Uh, picture of the band. And their influences cover uh, Grim Reaper, Diamond Head, Saxon, Demon, Prey Mantis, Raven, uh, Iron Maiden, all the good stuff. Um, <coughs> of the albums I'm showing tonight, as I said, <coughs> this is probably my favourite at the moment. Certainly of the new releases these bands have done, this would be my uh, second favourite, uh, second sight. <coughs> Pretty good stuff. So again, new and spoiler, uh, check those out. Um, <coughs> Last band for this uh, video um, is a band called uh, Farsia. Um, this is their album Fall Before the Dawn. Again, a band that's done a self release CD. They were formed in 2009 and they're like Midnight Force. They are also from uh, Glasgow. They're a bit more on the power metal side rather than the uh, <coughs> traditional metal side. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so their influences are more kind of um, Blind Guardian, Gamma Ray. Uh, this made in there. Lost Horizon, which are also uh, a great band if you're not familiar with those. Halloween, Judas Priest and uh, Symphony X. <clears throat> I have seen these guys in, uh, again, Bannermans. Talk about that place a lot in uh, in Edinburgh. And I um, can't remember who they were supporting now. But, um, but I certainly remember them playing and uh, couldn't wait to get hold of one of their... CD, so again, a bit more on the power metal side, but uh, Farsia from Scotland, well worth checking out. <coughs> <coughs> if you want to get started with uh, what's happening <coughs> with the uh, with British metal at the moment, I can thoroughly recommend this <coughs> compilation. Again, I'm going to sound like an advert for uh, uh, Dissonance Productions, but this is something that they put out, and it contains, what, uh, 9, 10 tracks. A few of these bands that you can see listed here, <coughs> I will be um, uh, showcasing in future videos. But this is a great uh, compilation to get into uh, new uh, British bands uh, that are playing traditional metal that are out there today. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back at some point with another five uh, British heavy metal bands to, to tell you about hope you enjoyed this uh let me know what you think in the comments and do you know any of these bands uh if you do check some out let me know what you uh what you, you think you've heard and um i'll catch you again soon cheers